Oh my God, what am I seeing? I don't remember hearing or feeling anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I looked up and what I saw was just like these streaking lights coming across the sky. Chess Allen lives in Oregon State, just south of Portland. When he brought his dog out for a bathroom break, this is what he saw. A beautiful and mysterious light show in the skies above the West Coast from Oregon to Seattle and Vancouver. The first thing I thought was like, oh gosh, this is how I become a U uh, UFO conspiracy theorist, isn't it? Like, <laughs> saw that, started videoing and um, sent it to my wife and she was freaking out. She loves space and everything like that. So she's like, ah, just losing her mind. I heard a lot of reports later, people heard like rumblings or like thunder. Or they thought their kids were stomping around. It's a phenomenon that now has an explanation. The breakup of a discarded rocket stage uh, that had been in space for about three weeks and was re-entering the atmosphere. Jonathan McDowell is an astrophysicist for the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. He says globally, this kind of thing happens about once a week as something that once went up finally comes down. You get a, a big headwind, right, that heats you, melts you, you break up uh, into flaming lumps of stuff that then just uh, uh, end up melting and, and uh, dispersing in the upper atmosphere for the most part. When you say the term discarded rocket stage, is this something that was supposed to happen? Was this a, a, a malfunction of some kind? What does that mean? We think this was a malfunction. We don't know why. SpaceX haven't addressed it. The other question is, how did we here in Vancouver even see this? A map of the flight path clearly shows the debris passing over the center of Washington state. But in this video, clearly recognizable as this approximate area of the seawall in downtown Vancouver, we still see that rocket passing Vancouver General Hospital before making its way over City Hall and then beyond. How, how did we see it from that far away? Do, can we actually see that far from here? Yeah, because, so the, the thing is, right, you get fooled because it's 40 miles up and it's traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. And your brain is used to seeing planes that are maybe a couple miles away traveling at a hundred or a couple hundred miles an hour. That is really oh close. God. This sort of debris caused phenomenon is rarely dangerous to us down below. If any rocket chunks did make it down, they're believed to be scattered in the Rockies. It's an event Chess says he's unlikely to forget. It was super surreal. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.